What is up my viewers and subscribers? Mike here and this is the commentary adventure that almost didn't happen. The reason being is I had a little trouble with my profile. Uh, it, I wasn't able to recover it at first but my cousin uh, helped me recovering it by telling me a password that for some reason only he was able to remember. So uh, here we go. This is the Brock Lesnar vs Triple H preview for SummerSlam 2012. And for those of you um, who uh, uh, don't recognize this Brock because uh, you see the new one. This, that was a little bit of the old school Brock. You know, uh, if you took out the, uh, you know, sword on his chest. I don't know why he did it. Originally, this was supposed to be recorded on Monday and uploaded on Tuesday, but, you know, like I said, I had problems with my profile, and apparently you can't have the same type of files, you can't have the same type of unlocked uh, content on a different profile. I was actually planning on dusting off the old Xbox and uh, seeing if it'd work on that, but, you know... About to do his little signature uh, spit. Yeah, there it is. I, I kind of wish they hadn't have uh, made him return in the game if they were just going to bring him back in real life. Because now it doesn't look right. He's, he's going to be showing up in the MMA stuff and in here he has his old gear on. He has his old sponsors and everything. Here we go. If you haven't noticed, the commentary uh, for the gameplay has been turned off because the only voice you should be hearing is mine. And that was not uh, a, that was not me trying to be arrogant, I'm just saying, the only voice in this playthrough, well, this commentary you should be hearing is mine, unless it's the characters themselves making noises or something. Hmm. By the way, uh, there will be a, uh, there's going to be uh, a new playthrough vid uh, uploaded, uh, possibly the 18th or 19th, I'm not sure yet. Damn, Brock Lesnar's getting his ass whooped here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there he goes. The thing is, people harp on Brock for 
being in it for the money. But if you're not in it for the money, then you're you're an idiot. Who isn't in the WWE or any pro wrestling organization for the money? Oh yeah, you're you're in it. You're in it because you like doing uh, all those moves, and then after all that whole all that hard work, you you end up losing anyways. Yeah, you're in it to uh, uh, win a predetermined fight because you feel good about beating up someone that had no choice to lose, but to lose. Yeah, must feel real proud. Uh, of yourself, you know, it's just stupid. Anyone who says they're not in it for the money is in it. it is obviously covering up the fact that they went win their matches because the other guy lets them. At least Brock no. At least Brock comes from a wrestling background, unlike a certain superhero type that buried him. And yes, it was a burial, not because he lost, but because he lost uh, from only taking one bump. No one can actually get, in real life, no one can get their ass kicked and then come back with one move and win it all. That... You know, I know WWE's not real anyways, but at least pretend to be real. At least try to be realistic. That doesn't even, that didn't even look like he was in the position to do that. Why does he keep doing that stupid move? Come on, man. Show some variety. That's what I hate about this stupid game. They don't have variety. But this is the only game that has Brock Lesnar and Triple H in the same uh, game. This is the only one that has them both in the same game. So I have to have it on this game. I could have made him, you know, on another game, but whatever. Here's something that, um... The pedigree already, really? Whatever. Here's something you, uh... Probably don't realize. A lot of you probably don't. Uh, Brock Lesnar has only appeared in two SmackDown games. Well, he's only appeared in two of these type of games. This isn't a SmackDown game. It's a newly revamped game. But he's only appeared... He's only appeared in two of these type games. Uh, even more disappointing is that Hurricane, the Hurricane who had been in the WWE for three years, for about three years before ECW was canceled, and even before he was released, he was released before ECW was canceled. Even more disappointing, the Hurricane was only in one game, well he was only a playable character in one game. He was only a playable character in one SmackDown game, even though he had been in ECW for about three years. About two or three years. That, that's really stupid. Now we're getting going. Brock Lesnar pulling out that, you know, showing that amateur background. That amateur background that got him to the WWE. Unlike some people who got drafted from uh, a, a uh, gym. Yeah, unlike 
unlike some people who got drafted from gems. Yeah, we can only count on Triple H to recruit his uh, workout buddies. What the hell, is Penny not on? I mean, really. What type of fucking match is this where you don't pin people? background again. Mm. Triple H will probably end up winning this just like he uh, will end up winning at SummerSlam. Fucking stupid ending. Fucking stupid as hell. Entertaining match ends with a non finisher. And once again, in a WWE preview match, the wrong person goes over. And I can't blame this on any writers because there are none. Not in an AI fight, so I have to blame it on the stupid AI. Because for some reason, in every game, the AI's intelligence uh, gets lower. Well, that's about it for me. Um, I am Mike Wayne, a.k.a. Rebel180. Please, rate and comment. And if you are a new viewer, if you like this type of video, please subscribe for more videos like this. This has been the fourth commentary adventure. So long for now.